energy bent of atom. So now our today's topic is about energy bent, and we can see there is an atom that I have written here. And in this atom, you know about the orbit, you know about the electron, and also you know about the nucleus. You know. The center of the atom is called nucleus, and this nucleus have two small particle or component, which are proton and neutron. And we denote proton as p plus and denote neutron as n because there is no charge of neutron. So now there is another particle, a small particle or component of an atom, which is called electron. And there are some electron that I have shown on that figure. And electron is denoted by E minus. And here there is the energy band. So what is actually energy band? You can see there are several types of orbits, and each of the orbits has contained some electrons and the last shell or orbit has only four electron so in this four electron if i draw this four electron sequentially then there are the four electrons and when the electron is stay on an orbit or energy shell then the each of the electrons energy is not same so here the four electrons and the energy of the four electrons is not same because all the time the atom absorb or absorb the energy from the environment suppose if we apply the light then this light particle or light wave can energize the electron of this orbit and also the electron can emit or release the energy and then the electron is going from the higher orbital or higher shell to lower shell so we know about the electron when it absorbs the energy as light then it can going from lower shell to higher shell and when it absorb it um, release the light then it can or it release the energy then it can going from higher shell to lower shell so in this atom if we um, see about the numbers of electron there are total 14 numbers of electron 1 2 8 10 so the electronic configuration of this atom is 2 8 4 and if you see the atomic number of this material is silicon because silicon has the 14 electron silicon atom has the 14 electron and the 14 is the atomic number of silicon so there are this is the electronic configuration of the silicon and this atomic structure is also denotes the silicon atom and now there is the last shell or last orbit that is the pink color shell and in this last shell or last orbit there are four types of electron or four electron as i maintain uh, as i um say before there are the four electrons has no equal types of energy the four electrons has no equal energy so there are some difference between the energy of that electron and the last shell of the atom has the electron and each of the electron has the different ranges different range of energy this energy is called the energy band so there are some ranges of energy suppose if i say there is a two electron first and second electron and the energy of the electron is suppose one electron volt and rest of the electron has the energy of six electron volt then there is a combination of two electron so some electron outer shell of the atom has two types of energy band first one is the balance band and second one is our conduction band so you can say there are some electrons outer shell of the atom and this electron has two specific energy range or energy shell energy band so first one is our balance band so this is the type of actually our energy band and the second one is our conduction band conduction band so which is uh, what is about this thing the balance band is actually the range of electron of an atom and this electron cannot going from one atom to another atom so the amount of energy 
of this band is very low and the electron cannot passing from one atom to another atom because of the leakage of energy so the electrons which have the lowest amount of energy cannot going from one atom to another atom and also stay the last orbit of the atom this electrons band or the energy level is called balance band and the next one is our conduction band and we have to uh, denote it right uh, as b or b or the short from bb or balance band the next one is our conduction band so what is actually the conduction band there are some electrons which can stay the outer shell of the orbit of an atom and also it can passing from one atom to another atom it can jump over to one atom to another atom and the energy of those electrons are very is very high so suppose these two electrons these two electrons have six electron bond which is very much a uh, high amount of energy and these two electrons can easily passing from one atom to another atom as they have energy so those electrons who have a higher range of energy this energy band is called conduction band or in short term CB so actually balance band and conduction band is not any place or is not any uh, address it is just one kind of measurement the amount of energy level or energy range the electron who is have a lowest amount of energy cannot passing from one atom to another atom but is still stay at the outer shell orbit of the atom which uh, this is called the balance band but those electron who is which can easily passing from one atom to another atom and also working as a free electron and also those electron has a high amount of energy this energy level or energy bands is called conduction band so if i um write there there is the energy band or the range of the energy which is called balance band and in this balance band range there are some electron which is stay in the outer shell of the orbit and this electron have no energy to passing from one atom to another atom and there are another energy band that I have to denote there which uh, is conduction band and in this conduction band there are also some electron but I again repeat this the balance band and conduction band are not the place or are not any address this is actually the range of energy or the range of energy level so these types of ener uh, electron have lowest energy and this is also stay at the outer shell of the orbit and it maintains the balance band electron level or energy level and those electrons are maintaining the conduction band energy level so if we apply some energy or if we um, apply some energy by using heat by using any pressure and also supply this heat or pressure of a atom then there is a high chance to get this energy to this electron or balance band electron and this electron can easily jump to the range or jump to the conduction band electron and here the electron of the balance band has the lowest amount of energy but if we apply some heat or if we apply some pressure to the atom then this pressure or heat energy can transmitted from outer environment to the electron and this electron can easily get the energy high level of energy and then it can be uh, working as the free electron it can passes from um, one atom to another atom so those types of uh, energy level is called the conduction band energy level so we can see there the balance band energy level is lower than the conduction band energy level so we can see that balance band is lower than conduction band energy level but sometimes there is a possibility there uh, to equal equalization of their values suppose sometime balance band electron has a energy level which is equal to the conduction band energy level and in that cases the electron can easily passing 
through the atoms or passing from one atom to another atom. So there is a good relationship between valence band electron is smaller or equal to conduction band electron energy level. But there is no chance to the valence band electron energy level is greater than the conduction band energy level. So these two types of energy band is working on an atom, but there is another energy band which is working on an atom. Um, this is uh, the third number of energy band is called forbidden band and in short term we can say this as a B so this is not actually Facebook this is forbidden band so what is actually the forbidden band you can see here there is some electron which have the lower amount of energy and when it gets the energy from outer environment as a uh, heat or as the pressure then this electron can easily going to the conduction band level energy and then it can easily passing from one atom to another atom or it have uh, stored the high amount of energy but between this band there is a gap so this is actually our gap so in this gap there is no electron is staying so in this gap it is called the forbidden band gap so this band uh, this gap is called the forbidden band and in this forbidden band there is no electron so the we have uh, we cannot get any electron which have the forbidden band range energy level we only find out the two energy level electron which is balance band and another is conduction band and also in the balance band electron when the electron are in balance band energy level there is no possibility to passes this electron from one atom to another atom and also if we find any electron which is into the ranges of conduction band then there is a high chance to passing this electron from one atom to another atom so this is all about the energy band of the atom and again I want to repeat this the balance band conduction band and forbidden band those are not exactly the places and this is the actually the energy level of the electron so all of the electrons that is um, combining to the last orbit or the all of the electrons which are uh, staying on the outer shell of the orbit of a atom this is actually regarding these types of three bands so we do not have any electron which have balance band or conduction band or forbidden band inside the other atom uh, shell or other orbit so we only discuss about the outer shell or last shell of the atom and in this last shell of the atom there are several types of electron and each of the electrons energy is not same to each other or is not familiar to similar to each other so the balance energy band is actually the, um, there is a definition good definition of energy band that is the electrons of the outer shell of the atom have the different types of energy level and those types of energy level is called the energy band so this is all about our lecture and i want to share one thing that is if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel youtube channel and also you can upload your status as hashtag crush school on your social medias like facebook instagram twitter so that i can easily find out the people who are uploading the status about hashtag crash school and also you can visit our official website which is the crash school.com here where you can find out the various types of subject study materials and also electrical and electronic engineering study materials and you have to visit this website because this is very good and also very much helpful for you and also subscribe our channel hashtag crash school you have to upload your social media and finally you have to visit our official website which is the crash school.com here we, you can find the study materials of electrical and electronic engineering subject which is totally free